Hey, Sean here from speedcubeview.com. We have the data and it shows that learning dot cases is better than trying to avoid them. So let's learn our dot cases. I have always been a big proponent of learning dot cases. I've never felt like it was that useful to avoid them because dot cases are easy to recognize and often easy to execute. So I'm going to show you the ones I do. Now, the ones I do might not be also the most popular ones. So I'm going to put a link to Speedcube DB, which has all of them and you can pick your favorite. I would suggest just going through it and see what you like. I'm also going to show you how I think of it, how I figure them out. So we're just going to go down the list and the very first one is the one that's just dot and you have a bar on either side. Now this one you can execute with this way or this way. It doesn't matter as long as you have a bar on either side. And it's pretty much you take the pair out, do a sledgehammer, do a U2, and then another sledgehammer. So if you watch this, we take the pair out by doing R U2 R prime. And that goes right into a sledgehammer. U2 and then insert with a sledgehammer. Very easy to recognize very easy to execute. You could also do the left hand for that F prime, depending on what is more comfortable. And this leads us right into the very next one, which is where you have a bar and then only a dot. So you kind of get these like wings here. This is one that a lot of people start by learning this case. You put the bar on the left and you do F sexy move, F prime, wide F sexy move, wide F prime. Or you could do F sexy move and then S move sexy move, and then wide F. I don't like either of those. That's what I started to do first, but it's slow. So what I do now, and I'll show you with my left hand and then the right hand, you put the bar in the back and you start by doing wide L prime, U prime, L, U2, regular L prime, U2, L, U2, wide L prime, U, wide L. So, I like that because of how fast it is. You could do it with your right hand doing R U R prime U2 R U2 R prime U2 R U prime R prime. And I didn't say the wide moves just because that'd be easier to say, but you can see if it can flow really fast and it's really easy to spot and execute as well. But like I said, I like to do my left hand. I just find that easier. Okay, so going on to the next case, and this is very easy to recognize and both algorithms are almost identical for when you have a center, a dot case with one corner oriented. You're going to put the oriented corner on the left, either on the bottom or the top, and you know which one to do it based on this bar. It should be matching, dot on the bottom, bar on the bottom. If we put on the top, there's no bar on the top. So we just match it that way. And we start by doing F inverse sexy move F prime. And then we get the T case. So we set that up with the U prime F sexy move F prime. And that's it. There are other algorithms, but I really like this one because it's just one I've done for a while. And I feel like it flows very well. So the other one looks very much the same, but the pieces on the top and the bars on the top. So here would not be it. We just put it on the top. We do the exact same start. F inverse sexy move F prime, and then we get that T case, F sexy move F prime. The only difference between them, it, the only difference between them is that last one we do our U move before we do the F sexy F prime instead of an inverse. And that's it. So what if we have the dot case with two oriented corners? Again, this is an algorithm that I do that not a lot of other people do, but I like it. When you have two oriented corners, you're either going to have a bar opposite it or just a dot. And if you have the bar, you put the bar in front and you start with inverse sledgehammer, inverse sexy move. So you do F prime, R prime, F, R, U, R, U prime, R prime. And you get the T case again, F sexy move, F prime. So the other case, again, we have two oriented corners, but just a dot. So with that, instead of putting that in front, you do the opposite. You put that in front. Don't rotate, just do U moves. And you do the exact same thing to start. You do inverse sledgehammer and then inverse sexy move. And you have a T case. <laughs> so though that will be a little more moves than some of the other algorithms for that, but I find it very easy to execute because there's no S moves or M moves or anything like that. 
There is one more case that's a dot case with two oriented corners, and that's where they're like this. And there's only one case for it. You'll see matching edges. You put those matching edges on back, and you start by doing R U R prime U, and then you do a sledgehammer. U two sledgehammer again. Very similar to that first dot case, but instead of doing R U two R prime, it's R U R prime U and then the exact same. So there's only one more case, and it's this. Now the algorithm I just did, I was the first one I learned, and what I really like about it is that only the edges flip. You're just basically flipping all four edges. So I was able to plan out a full uh, last layer algorithm because the corners were also solved. So for example, let's, uh, so let's set that up. There we go. So this will result in a last layer or a PLL skip, I guess. I don't know what to call it because you can see very easily orange and orange, green and green. M prime U2, M U2, M prime U, M U2, M prime U2, M. Like that. The other algorithm I really like does a very similar thing, but it, it basically is that with an H perm added. And it's also really easy to execute where it starts with sexy move, but with a wide R to start. M2, inverse sexy move, and then U prime, M prime. So you can see orange and red, green and blue. There you go. And that's all the dot cases. There's only eight of them, and it's faster just to go to the dot cases. Now, if I do have something where I could easily do a sledgehammer, I might do that. And I'll especially do a sledgehammer if I'm able to possibly orient the rest of the edges and do a COLL or something else. But that doesn't mean it's faster. If you're really focused on, on being fast, learn your dot cases. If and like I said, I'm going to put a link to SpeedCubeDB where the dot cases are, and it's going to go straight to the dot cases and just check them out. What I would suggest is for you learning this, try each one and see which one feels best for you. They do rank them because people can vote on which ones they like most, but that doesn't mean that that is the best one, especially the best one for you. If there's an algorithm you prefer, let me know in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe, more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedcubeview.com for more news and reviews.